Tiger Woods' ex-wife, Elin, was devastated when she discovered his betrayals more than a decade ago. The stunning disclosures led to their explosive divorce, leaving them hurt, humiliated, and deceived. Elin withdrew from public view after the finalization, seeking privacy. I have been called a woman with no words in the media and criticized for not talking very much. Despite the efforts of the tabloids, she was able to keep the intimate details of her life private. Elin's post-divorce journey is still shrouded in mystery. This video delves into her past endeavors and current interests. Prepare for an in-depth look into Elin Woods' life as she navigates the glamorous world of Hollywood after the scandal. Early Life Elin Nordegren, a well-known figure from Stockholm, has a history in both politics and media. Her mother, Barbro Holmberg, was not only a former Swedish migration and asylum policy minister, but also the governor of Gavleborg County. This familial link to politics most certainly influenced Nordegren's early upbringing and ideas. Elin's father, Thomas Nordegren, is a well-known radio journalist who formerly served as bureau chief in Washington, D.C. Her family's mix of political and journalistic backgrounds gave her a unique view on global politics and communication. Growing up in such a setting surely influenced her intellectual development and outlook. To fund their schooling, Elin and her sister worked as cashiers in supermarkets during the summer. This exhibits a remarkable work ethic as well as a dedication to personal accountability. Working in a typical everyday job like cashiering is likely to have imparted vital life values, such as financial independence and hard effort. Her identical twin, Elin Nordegren's familial story extends beyond her immediate family unit with an elder brother, Axel, and a close bond with her identical twin sister, Josefin Nordegren. Sibling dynamics are typically important in forming one's character and viewpoints, and Elin's interactions with her brother and sister most likely contributed to the building of lifelong bonds and shared memories. Despite being identical twins, Elin and Josephin navigated their individualism through a diverse approach to their upbringing. In contrast to widespread misconceptions about identical twins, Elin told publicly in 2010 that her parents actively avoided dressing them alike or masking their individuality. Instead, the emphasis was on helping both sisters develop independence and separate identities. Elin claims that her parents rarely dressed them in matching clothing. When such instances arose, a deliberate method was used to guarantee differentiation Elin would wear red, while her sister, Josephine, would wear blue. This color-coded technique worked well to avoid any confusion regarding their identities. It demonstrated their parents' conscious effort to recognize and celebrate each daughter's uniqueness. Elin expounded on this point, saying that the color-coded clothing system served as a visual indicator for others, making identification easier. Everybody knew that red equals Elin and blue equals Josephine, she went on to say. This deliberate decision to keep apparent distinctions extended beyond dress and into other parts of their appearance. The parents took additional steps to identify the twins by combing their hair differently and enrolling them in separate classrooms throughout their scholastic careers. This deliberate separation, while difficult at times, was a strategic decision aimed at supporting the development of unique personalities. Elin expressed thanks for her parents' attitude in retrospect, recognizing the importance of these decisions in forming their distinct identities. Elin's words expressed her heartfelt gratitude for her parents' deliberate attempts to keep the divisions between her and her sister clear. Despite the visual and societal problems that being an identical twin can bring, Elin admitted that these steps improved her feeling of self and distinctiveness. Elin and Josephine's bond grew beyond their familial ties, transforming into a deep friendship. Elin described her twin sister as more than just a closest friend, emphasizing the tenacity of their bond. The progression from shared childhood memories to adult companionship demonstrates the depth of their bond and the tenacity of their sisterhood. How She Met Tiger Woods Elin Nordegren's path to maturity featured unanticipated twists and turns, representing a varied range of experiences that challenged the typical assumptions linked with her early jobs as a fashion model and babysitter. While she dabbled in swimmer modeling during her adolescence, she stated in a 2010 interview 
that modeling was never her primary career path. Despite a brief spell as a swimmer model in her adolescence, Elin humbly dismissed her engagement in the industry, claiming, I was never very successful at it, and I didn't intend to pursue it. She acknowledged the flattery of being labeled a model, but emphasized that a few shootings throughout her adolescence did not qualify her as a professional model. This claim emphasizes her grounded perspective and knowledge of the fleeting nature of certain life experiences. Nordegren worked as a nanny in her early 20s, exhibiting a commitment to various and fulfilling work experiences. Her decision to work as a nanny led her to care for the children of Swedish golfer Jesper Parnovic for an extended length of time. Originally intending to continue her Spanish studies in Barcelona, her plans changed when she met the Parnovic family, eventually leading her to accompany them to the United States. Elin had planned to return to Sweden after a year as a nanny for the Parnovics to continue her psychology studies. Swimmer's model and nanny isn't accurate today, but those are things I've done, she said of her previous roles. Both were fantastic experiences. This acknowledgement indicates an openness to new experiences and a desire to embrace the lessons she has learned from each chapter of her life. Interestingly, Elin's boss, Jesper Parnovic, was instrumental in introducing her to Tiger Woods at the 2001 Open Championship. This introduction, on the other hand, was not without complications. Elin was romantically linked with someone else at the time and had no initial interest in Tiger Woods. Tiger, who had been wanting to meet Elin for a year, waited patiently for the ideal moment. According to Jesper's wife, Mia Parnovic, there was a long line of single golfers wanting to meet her. They were completely smitten with her. Elin, who was initially uninterested in Tiger, consented to go on one date with him merely to put a stop to his constant attempts. She had a partner in Sweden at the time, indicating that her heart was not immediately open to a meaningful relationship with Woods. But, as fate would have it, the unexpected occurred. Elin's second date with Woods revealed an unexpected connection. Despite her doubts, she began to realize that Tiger Woods was more than his superstar reputation. She said, Elin didn't feel like she was out with a celebrity for the first time. She felt like she was out with a nice, normal guy. Marriage. Tiger Woods and Elin Nordegren made a crucial stride in their relationship in November 2003 after nearly three years of courting. The watershed moment came during their participation in the President's Cup event in South Africa, where the atmosphere was packed with both competition and romance. Tiger Woods made his intentions apparent in the gorgeous background of the exclusive Shamwari Game Reserve, proposing to Elin Nordegren and formalizing their engagement. Tiger and Elin's journey to wedded bliss culminated in October 2004 when they exchanged vows at the Sandy Lane Resort in Barbados. The ceremony was held on the 19th hole, a symbolic location reflecting the couple's shared love of golf. Woods made a major gift by renting the entire Sandy Lane complex for a week, making it into an exclusive paradise complete with not only opulent lodgings, but also three golf courses and an astounding 110 rooms. This lavish event cost approximately $2 million, demonstrating the couple's desire to celebrate their nuptials in a very spectacular way. The decision to hold the wedding in Barbados was deliberate, reflecting the draw of its stunning beaches and the promise of privacy. Security guards were stationed to preserve the ceremony's sanctity, effectively keeping bystanders at bay. Close family members, friends, and A-list sports stars were among the 200 guests in attendance bringing a touch of glitz to the event. Icons such as Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley graced the occasion, emphasizing the couple's standing in sports and celebrity circles. Despite the grandeur of the occasion, an inside source stated that Tiger Woods kept a calm and composed demeanor on the historic day. Woods approached the ceremony with a remarkable amount of relaxation, despite not having the traditional pre-wedding nerves. He didn't act like he was going to get married, the person said. He seemed unconcerned, as if it were any ordinary day. This demeanor may have represented Woods' ability to negotiate high-pressure situations on the golf course while remaining calm and collected during one of life's most important occasions. Children Elin Nordegren and Tiger Woods' experience as parents 
extended beyond the boundaries of their marital vows. With the birth of their daughter, Sam Alexis Woods, on June 18, 2007, the couple experienced the joys of parenting for the first time. The importance of their daughter's name went beyond personal preference. It was a heartfelt tribute to a beloved family relationship. Sam Alexis was named after Woods' father's treasured nickname, which was bestowed on him when he was young, forming a vital tie between generations. The Woods family expanded with the birth of their son, Charlie Axel Woods, on February 8, 2009. The golf prodigy explained his moniker in a simple yet powerful way, noting that it just fit. Elin Nordegren's middle name, Axel, had a special meaning for her since it paid homage to her brother, weaving familial ties into the very fabric of their children's identities. The Woods children, Sam and Charlie Woods, were more than just onlookers of their father's golf ability. They were active participants in the cosmos that circled around fairways and greens. From an early age, both children accompanied their parents to Woods' events, serving as a familial pillar of support amidst the competitive arenas. Their presence on the golf course became a regular occurrence, demonstrating the Woods family's unity and affection. The family connection to golf took an unexpected turn when Charlie Woods showed a strong interest and talent in the sport, following in his renowned father's footsteps. Charlie's road to competitive golf became clear as he demonstrated his ability with Tiger Woods in the PNC Championship in December 2022. This shared golfing experience represented a moment of continuity in which the Woods family's heritage of golfing achievement was passed down from generation to generation. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. Despite being an incredibly graceful lady who never loses her calm, Elin reacted to the news of her husband's infidelity like any betrayed woman would. When Tiger Woods' cheating scandal broke, Elin Nordegren chased him out of their house with his own golf club and used it to smash in the windows of his car. It was undoubtedly a huge fall from grace for the golfer. All this happened in November 2009 after a story broke that Woods had been having an affair with a New York City nightclub hostess called Rachel Yucatel. During the Australian Masters, she was caught checking into the same hotel as Woods and had supposedly told pals she was in love with him. According to the Daily Beast, Woods attempted to halt publication of the article by placing his wife on the phone with Yucatel. The two ladies allegedly chatted for half an hour, but Elin was not convinced by her claim. She searched through Woods's phone when he left it unattended and found the name of another lady, whom she phoned. Elin remained silent, and when the story broke the next day, Thanksgiving, she was believed to be appalled by the specifics of the incident. Woods met Yucatel four months after his kid was born, according to reports. She'd shown her friends the intimate messages they'd exchanged, and told friends, according to reports, Woods was divorcing his wife. Aaron allegedly dug through his phone again and discovered more of Woods' texts, including one that read, You are the only one I've ever loved. Aaron allegedly tossed his phone at him and followed him with a golf club as he tried to escape. Woods got into his car and crashed it. When it was discovered, the two rear windows were damaged. He was knocked unconscious for six minutes and Aaron claimed she shattered the car windows to get him out. The officers attempted to question the couple, but they refused to participate, and a court denied the cop's request for a subpoena compelling them to speak. Following that, numerous other women, including adult film actresses, strip club dancers, and escorts, came forward to admit to having slept with Woods throughout his marriage. Within two weeks, 14 women had come forward. The scandal had a huge impact on Woods's career, and he lost endorsement deals with Nike, Gatorade, Gillette, and Accenture. Remember Tiger Woods' ex-wife? Try not to gasp when you see her today living her best life after divorcing her cheating husband, whose affairs humiliated her in public. But reports of Elin getting violent when the scandal broke sparked media outrage despite the cheating allegations. He, however, clarified things in a press conference saying, I was unfaithful. I had affairs. I cheated. What I did was not acceptable. For all that I have done, I am so sorry. I have a lot to atone for. But there's one issue I really want to discuss. Some people have speculated that Elin somehow hurt or attacked me on Thanksgiving night. 
It hurts me that people would fabricate a story like that. Do you think he was telling the truth? Let us know in the comments below. Alleged Affairs Elin Nordegren's life was turned upside down on December 2009 when her marriage to golf legend Tiger Woods became the focus of intense media scrutiny. The reason for this media frenzy was Woods' admission of infidelity, which came to light after a single vehicle accident near his Florida home. The unexpected findings compelled Woods to take an indefinite break from golf in order to focus on mending the cracks in his marriage. Jesper Parnovic, who inadvertently introduced Nordegren to Woods, expressed regret about the incident, saying, I'm kind of filled with sorrow for Elin since my wife, and I are at fault for hooking her up with him, and we probably thought he was a better guy than he is. Nordegren faced a difficult period as a result of the consequences of Woods' activities, which included public scrutiny and the unraveling of a once-appearing blissful marriage. Despite extensive efforts to repair their relationship, Nordegren and Woods were unable to repair the harm. On August 23, 2010, the divorce process was concluded in the Bay County Circuit Court in Panama City, Florida. Notably, Nordegren's legal team included her sister, Josephine, who is a lawyer with licenses in both England and Sweden, as well as other colleagues from the multinational law firm McGuire Woods. Following the divorce, Nordegren found herself with a sizable payout from Woods, $100 million. She wisely spent a chunk of her wealth in a $12 million Florida house from the 1920s. After consulting with an architect, Nordegren made the audacious decision to dismantle the entire structure. She generously permitted Habitat for Humanity to rescue valuable artifacts from the house during the four weeks before its demolition. The contents were later auctioned off at a Habitat for Humanity warehouse, with the proceeds benefiting the organization's charity efforts. Despite the scale of the public controversy and the emotional toll it exacted, Nordegren kept her cool and avoided disclosing precise details of Woods's alleged indiscretions. I've been through hell, she said in an interview. It's difficult to believe you have this life and then discover it's all a lie. You're having trouble since it wasn't real, but I made it. It was difficult, Nordegren commented. In response to her shock and disbelief after learning of Woods's betrayals, the word betrayal isn't strong enough. My entire world seemed to have crumbled around me. It appeared that my world as I knew it had never existed. I felt humiliated for having been duped. Many people around me made me feel deceived. Despite months of struggling to repair their relationship, the couple ultimately decided to divorce. Nordegren relied on her support system throughout this difficult time, with her children and loved ones, notably her twin sister, Josephine, playing critical roles in her emotional recovery. When asked about her tenacity, she admitted, Money doesn't make you happy, but I have to be honest, it makes some things easier. Her financial independence as a result of the divorce settlement gave her the freedom to spend time with her children and travel to see family. Nordegren underlined her resolve to forge her own path in the future. I was always going to have a career, with or without Tiger, she said. I'll be able to finish my studies faster now that I won't be traveling and following Tiger around to golf competitions. Then I want to find a method to help and make a difference in people's lives. This insight into Nordegren's post-divorce goals reveals a resilient spirit focused on personal development and a desire to make a positive difference in the world. Completing Education After Divorce Elin Nordegren began on a personal growth path after parting ways with Tiger Woods, focusing on a psychology degree. This endeavor not only provided her with solace in the difficult circumstances of her divorce, but it also marked a key chapter in her tenacity and desire to forge a new route for herself. Nordegren devoted a significant amount of time to her academic endeavors following her divorce. She pursued her psychology degree one class at a time for nine years with unflinching dedication. This methodical approach enabled her to manage the demands of her studies with the obligations of life, demonstrating her persistence and commitment to academic brilliance. Her educational adventure culminated in 2014, when she graduated from Rollins College in Winter Park, Florida, with a 3.96 GPA. Nordegren's graduation ceremony was not only a personal accomplishment, but also an opportunity for her to share significant thoughts with the graduating class during her commencement address. 
She spoke eloquently about education's transforming potential, emphasizing its role as the only consistent aspect of her life during the previous nine years. Nordegren emphasized the value of education as a source of comfort and empowerment during her speech. She emphasized, education is something that no one can take away from you. This comment summarized the tremendous impact of her academic studies on her journey of healing and self-discovery. In her talk to her classmates, she expressed her respect for their perseverance stories, stories of juggling full-time jobs, caring for families, and attending school. These stories, she claimed, served as an inspiration and a way to put her own difficulties into perspective. Nordegren's commencement speech also touched on the unexpected convergence of her life and the media limelight. When she reflected on her enrollment in a communication and media course, she joked, I should have taken more notes in that class. This joking remark alluded to the unexpected nature of her public scrutiny and the difficulties that came with navigating the media frenzy around her divorce. Nordegren said that her main goal in delivering the graduating address was to inspire other mothers to continue their education. She stated a desire to motivate mothers by emphasizing that it is never too late to begin the journey of learning and self-improvement. She hoped to inspire women to overcome difficulties and embrace the transformational potential of education, regardless of life's hardships, via her personal experience. Elin Nordegren's post-divorce story, coupled with her quest for education, reveals her tenacity, wisdom, and the transformational power of education. Her capacity to find solace in academic pursuits, as well as her devotion to obtaining her psychology degree, demonstrate a dedication to personal growth and the pursuit of lifelong learning. She not only celebrated her own accomplishments as a graduate and a speaker, but she also shared a message of strength and inspiration with people who had suffered struggle. Relationships. Elin Nordegren began on a nuanced journey through the world of romance following the high-profile dissolution of her marriage to Tiger Woods, defined by both hardships and unforeseen chances. She re-entered the dating scene in 2011 when she began dating American investor Jamie Dingman. This amorous chapter, however, proved to be ephemeral, lasting less than a year. According to sources, Nordegren was not interested in making a significant commitment at the time, indicating a preference for a more measured and cautious approach to issues of the heart. The next phase in Nordegren's romantic voyage began in 2013 when she began dating Chris Klein, a prominent coal billionaire from West Virginia with a significant age difference of two decades. According to reports, their relationship began as a friendship and evolved organically into a romantic involvement. Their relationship, which was described as nothing serious and casual in its early phases, lasted four years before ending in 2017. Tragically, the story took a depressing turn in 2019 when Chris Klein and his daughter Cameron passed away in a helicopter crash off the coast of the Bahamas. This unanticipated loss cast a shadow on Nordegren's romantic history, adding a painful depth to the complexity of her personal journey. But she managed to recollect herself and began dating again. We all remember Tiger Woods' ex-wife Try Not to Gasp when you see her today making public appearances with former NFL player Jordan Cameron. Jordan and Elon met through mutual friends in Florida and have been together ever since. Elon welcomed two more kids with Jordan welcoming son Arthur in October 2019 and their second child together in 2022. Jordan Cameron Jordan Cameron, born on August 7, 1988, built out a memorable NFL career as a tight end for both the Cleveland Browns and the Miami Dolphins. His football career abruptly ended on March 10, 2017, when he announced his retirement from the league after suffering four concussions. Jordan Cameron's life took an unusual turn in the same momentous year when he began dating Elin Nordegren, the ex-wife of golf legend Tiger Woods. Their courtship, which was marked by solitude and discretion, remained largely hidden. Elin is very private. She has been dating Jordan for a number of years, and they have kept their relationship very under wraps, an insider told Page Six. Her friends are overjoyed for her since he is fantastic. Elin deserves to be with a good man, and he is. According to the source, the couple originally met at Miami's Art Basel Gallery a few years ago, setting the groundwork for a long-lasting relationship. The couple's family grew alongside their romance. 
Elin Nordegren gave birth to their son, Philip Nordegren Cameron, in October 2019. However, a recent crucial development occurred when the parents formally changed the name of their young boy to Arthur Nordegren Cameron. The name change legal proceedings was confirmed in a Florida courthouse capturing a wonderful scenario with Nordegren, the former model and nanny, content and smiling, and Jordan Cameron cuddling their four-month-old boy. The court documents certifying the name change did not disclose precise reasons for the change. Nonetheless, this legal action confirmed the couple's decision to name their baby Arthur, marking a pivotal moment in their parenting experience. Elin Nordegren's pregnancy was first reported in June, with images showing her baby bulge while she attended her older son Charlie's flag football game. She and Jordan Cameron were later seen with the newborn baby, the gender of which was first unknown, at Charlie's soccer game in late October 2019. Jordan Cameron and Elin Nordegren's story easily transitions from the hardships of professional sports to the joys and responsibilities of fatherhood, emphasized by privacy and mutual dedication. Best friends with her ex. Tiger Woods spoke candidly in 2015 about his strategy for addressing the complications of his divorce from Elin Nordegren to their children. Woods revealed, with integrity and honesty, that he took the initiative to speak directly to their children about the reasons for the divorce. I've taken the initiative with the kids and told them up front, guys, the reason why we're not in the same house, why we don't live under the same roof, mommy and daddy, is because daddy made some mistakes. Woods was quoted as saying by the newspaper. This candid contact with his children demonstrated Woods' dedication to being open about the issues that led to their marriage's breakdown. Despite the turmoil in their personal lives, Woods praised Nordegren, describing her as one of his best friends. He reflected on their connection five years after their divorce, saying, We are able to pick up the phone, and we talk to each other all the time. Woods emphasized the importance of their joint parental responsibilities, saying, We both know that the most important things in our lives are our kids. I wish I had known that back then. Woods also emphasized the good progression of their connection, saying, She talks to me about her life. I talk to her about mine. On all occasions, we endeavor to assist one another and the parenting program helps us work through it with the kids. She has become one of my closest friends as a result of my children. We've put forth a lot of effort to co-parent. Despite the problems they had as a marriage, this is a testament to their dedication to co-parenting, which demonstrated a shared commitment to establishing a nurturing environment for their children. Fast forward to October 2022, and Woods is embroiled in a legal battle with his ex-girlfriend Erica Herman, who claims he owes her $30 million. This legal fight heated up again in March 2023, when Herman filed a new complaint over a non-disclosure agreement inked in August 2017. Despite the legal difficulties, a source said that Elin Nordegren was uninterested in Woods's personal life or the continuing cases. According to The Insider, Nordegren's greatest worry was the safety and happiness of their children in any situation involving Woods. This aspect of Tiger's life is not her concern, the person said. Of course, she must be satisfied that the children are safe and happy in the presence of Tiger, especially if the romance grows serious. She is very intrigued to that extent, but not on anything else. This understanding of Nordegren's perspective highlights a realistic and focused approach to co-parenting putting the well-being of their children ahead of any personal or legal entanglements between Woods and his ex-girlfriend. It demonstrates a mature viewpoint and an unflinching dedication to providing a stable and caring environment for their shared parental responsibilities. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.